Hi everyone, Pastor Chris Carlson here again from Westfield Presbyterian Church. Day five of my devotions for this coming Sunday, uh, August the 16th. My sermon uh, is called, What Does It Take to Be a Good Brick? Based on 2 Peter uh, chapter 2. Before I begin, I want to say uh, this is my last devotion with you. Uh, August the 16th is my last Sunday here. It's a bit of privilege to be here. I have felt called to be here. It's been a hard year in many ways uh, with COVID and some other issues that the church has dealt with, but it's been a good year and it's ended uh, wonderfully and that you've called a new pastor. And uh, that's, believe it or not, that's the hope of every transitional pastor uh, that's what we look forward to, not because we want to leave, but because we know that that's what it's all about. It's all about uh, that new pastor coming and preparing the way for that new pastor. I hope I've been able to do that. I've enjoyed getting to know you. Uh, I will pray for you and hope to keep in touch with many of you uh, along the way as we seek God's calling and our lives. My last point in uh, this particular series is that we need to remember to whom we belong. Uh, in order to be a good brick, we remember to whom we belong. Peter says the most amazing thing. He says, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness and his wonderful light. There's so much there, it's hard to comment on it all. Uh, first, uh, you know, we, we talked about Israel being the chosen nation, uh, but in the New Testament, uh, it's all believers who are the chosen nation. The church is the new Israel, uh, if you will and includes Jew and Gentile, all believers together. Uh, and then Peter begins using an Old Testament image, a royal priesthood. And remember what I said about that, that even though it's a word that is charged, we don't really understand it or like it, but to be a priest is just to be a, a representative of God, a go-between for others. And we first, we are that for everyone, uh, for ourselves, we pray for each other, we love each other, we speak the word to one another, we are priests to one another in the church. But we are also representatives of God, go-betweens, if you will, for those outside the church who don't know God. And Peter says, do that, be that with gentleness and respect. Uh, always be prepared uh, to declare the praises of the one who called you out of darkness because there are many others who are still in darkness. Uh, and that is the job of individuals and the church itself. It is one of the main jobs that we have. Uh, a holy nation. We're not holy in ourselves, none of us are. But through Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross, God sees us as his holy nation, his holy people. What a wonderful thing that is. Uh, we're his special possession, wow. So much could be said about that. One of my favorite verses, uh, among many, is in Revelation, when it talks about how a God will give a stone to each believer with a special name on it, known only to God and to each believer. Um, billions of names, if you will, and God knows each one of them. So we're here, each one of us. So we are his special uh, possession. And that gives me so much joy and confidence. And despite my own sinfulness and my need of grace, uh, that God loves me. Uh, another special verse is Romans 8.1, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So we are his, not because of ourselves. Nothing we could do could earn this but God has given it as a free gift through faith in Jesus Christ. So we remember to whom we belong. Uh, many of us have read uh, Rick Warren's book, 
the purpose-driven life. And I've said often that the first few words of the first chapter of that book are worth the whole price of the book. And he says, it's not about you. Uh, those are hard words. I've had some. I've said that, and people. I've had a few people take me to task on it. But the Bible is very clear. It is about God. It's about Jesus. And when we keep that order, things are right. It doesn't mean we aren't important. It doesn't mean that God doesn't think we're important. We are. But we are His children, and we are His. We are His possession, if you will. Uh, we don't own ourselves. Uh, we, God owns us, and that is great. And so what is our task? Well, it's to declare the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his wonderful light. To declare the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his wonderful light. That's it. And that's my prayer for you as Westfield Church, that you will uh, continue to do that as you have for a couple of hundred years, and that you will do it for a couple of hundred more, if not longer, until Jesus returns. God bless you all. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen.